What's up guys? Today we are watching season 4 episode 5 of Peaky Blinders. So last episode our dude Alfie came back. I was so excited to see Tom Hardy. So hopefully he's in this episode too. But also last episode Tangred a dude went go visit Michael in the hospital. Basically just to tell him that Polly and his like deal is a deal. And with Michael finding out I thought maybe Maybe he's going to tell Tommy, considering how like close they are, but he didn't, and I was really surprised by that, because he had the chance to at the end of the episode, and he didn't, which is still blowing my mind, but I guess he is trying to get out maybe now, like Polly, or maybe not, I don't know, maybe he's still just trying to decide, we'll see, but I'm ready to see what's gonna go on in this episode, so I guess let's get into it. Oh wait, yeah, last episode at the end they were following Tommy. I totally forgot about that. Say sorry, Mom. A man was already prepared. Tommy is literally by himself taking on like five ish men. Why is he alone? Look how nice he is to her. But you know what I'm not thinking about? How did Tom... That was like kind of planned. So how did Tommy know about that? Because that is when Polly like planned, right? Like how... Did Michael like somehow let him know? Or did he just figure it out on his own? That was a good shot. You didn't even know he was there. Well, technically you did, because you wouldn't have shot there. Everyone stay indoors! Stay down! Fire all the pinky blinders! It's still crazy how they're literally doing that in a place where so many fucking people live and it's indoors. And like, yeah, co uh, Tommy is taking precautions to like try and keep people inside, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna like fully work and someone's not gonna get hurt. Come in. Imagine if that dude automatically just shot, he would have shot a kid. Oh, I was about to say, what made you think that he knows, but... I was about to say, if man was out of bullets, he is fucked. But he's okay for right now. really shot at his own person. Hey. Ooh, shit. He's, again, thinking about it again. He's by himself taking these people out. It reminds me of Arthur from the other episode. Even though it's like maybe not as many people, but he's still getting shit done and helping himself. Hey! I know you own the cops in this dirty fucking town, but you're gonna be dead before they get here. 
I don't think so, sir. And then the cops, because I was literally just thinking, like, they seem like they're about to have a standoff, so I feel like Changretta was about to die. But then the cops came. The rule of law has been restored. Haven't you heard, Sammy? Hey, soldiers are coming. So that means they don't work for him anymore? The very first time he headbutted a policeman. After you got your OB from the king, I didn't think there'd be a next time. So I'm I'm confused about Polly right now. So is she mad that the thing didn't go to plan or was that part of her plan to like let him know? I suppose they uh suppose they took you by surprise, did they? No, I knew they were coming. Who told you? From Luca Changretta. Offering to spare my son if I gave up Tommy. Okay. Okay. So she, it was her, so it was their plan. So she wasn't against him. I'm, I'm hoping that is actually true and she didn't like turn it in her favor. Pretty soon, yeah. You're gonna get the shakes when your blood cools down. Let's go get a drink. Dad, you got three what? That kid has never spoke words in this show, and those are his first words. Best person of the show. Drink, Lizzie. I've had a hard day. Is she gonna tell him? Why not? Does they say it harms the baby? Ew, no, no. What's gonna happen with Tommy? Oh, sweet, Lizzie. This isn't how I'm expecting it to go. What are you going to tell her? You don't know this already. You don't know me. I'm keeping it. Who's going to run me fucking office? And that's what you're worried about? And so you were going to tell her to get rid of it. I'm not laid up yet. I'll not go to work with a child of mine, it's out here. Okay. So, I guess he's okay with it. A baby. Little you and me. Point blank, Lizzie. It feels so weird that it's not with Grace. Mm. From the company. Business is booming. I will um, buy a nice house, eh? Come on, I'll drive you home. So that's how he's gonna treat it. I'll buy you shit, I'll keep you comfortable and everything, and, and that's it? I'm just looking. And you're hella drunk. Fuck. Linda. Bathy scared me to death. Linda. He needs help. <laughs> no. No fucking way. You've never eaten hedgehog, Michael. He's finally out the hospital. He's been in there like the whole season. 
And we have like one more episode left of the season. Fucking witches, the lot of them. <laughs> Show some respect, Mr. Gray. They've agreed to welcome you on account of your blood. Well, shit. Now he better feel bad. Tommy says it won't be long. Then we'll be free. Okay, so Tommy knows about their plan to be free. Okay, I, I don't know why I still have this feeling that, like, she just turned the plan in her favor, but... I can smell spring in the air. Do you know a longer way back, Mr. Gold? I know a ways back. It would take forever. Put down your hand. I thought you were a busy woman. Into my world. Look at her out and about just doing stuff. She seems like she's really enjoying herself and I'm really happy for her. Your wife's often around you. She watches you. I had a feeling some, like, his wife was about to be brought up. Like, is he gonna ask you to, like, speak to his wife or something like that? But she brought up his wife, so... I believe it's you who's kept Tommy Shelby alive all these years. Now we've kept each other alive. They help each other out. And I love that. And it is. This time. There never seemed to be any kind of romance between you two. Let me make one thing clear, Mr. Gold. I just gave Michael a little speech about how no one would know where to find him. Oh, okay. If any harm comes to Michael, you shall have me as your enemy. And none of your knives can kill me. Period. Don't go after Michael. She's actually letting you on her good side. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to be around Alfie, Changretta. Leave man alone. I'm Uncle Changretta. Oh, yeah, I know who you are. Mm. You're a bit of a failure, aren't you? <laughs> you don't give a fuck. He's gonna bring up shit no matter what position he's in. Two. One. Right, hello. How can I help you? You ain't gonna help him, please. You're on our, you're on our team, Alfie. What do you want? Yeah, I just wanna hear you say it out loud so I can check how ridiculous it is. <laughs> oh, Shelby family's gonna be there. Mm. And you, Mr. Solomon, you too will be there. And what's your point? Mm? It is a gift. It's a free souvenir of your visit here. Goodbye. Trot on down there is Bonnie Street. Oh, so he don't give a fuck what you're about to ask him. That's funny, because now I believe I know what you want, mm. even before you say it. What is it he wants? Rom mi contrabando. I feel no other you. Damn fucking straight, mate. Otherwise, you wouldn't still be thieving my oxygen, would ya? Because I have 200 barrels a month, yeah, cleared by your people, distributed. The exit is still out there, right, on Body Street, yeah? 
<laughs> you fucking crazy, you know that? <laughs> Everybody fucking knows. Bone work is why I've broken it down here. A uh, list of costs pertaining to the assassination of a dear friend. All right. Now, your normal dispatch. You are not going to consider killing Tommy. Alfie. Then I need you to put another ton on top of that because his brother is a fucking animal and he will come after me. Yeah. And then you will need to put another. <laughs> he already fucking knows. You are a fucking wop, mate. Hmm? You don't fuck with Alfie. He already knows that he wouldn't pay that much. Or maybe he would. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you will have to add another ton onto your bill for being a cunt, mate. All right. See, only he will be like that because it's like he could be however he wants to people, but as soon as people do it back to him, he's just like, no. Fucking barrels. We have a deal. He's surprised that he's actually taken the thing. Oh, so he fucking knew. So he still isn't gonna do it. Hi, Michelle. Hi. No. Who the fuck is going after Ada? That'll be all. Yes, sir. I apologize, Miss Shelby. Territorials can be overzealous. And who are you? What is this? Three days ago, you were seen at a meeting for the Stetford Communist Party. You were then seen talking to a woman called Jessie Eden. What about her? Because I'm no longer a believer in the cause of socialism. Now open that door. So, in the past, you were blinded by love. You really gonna bring up that man? Both camps. Potentially very useful. Useful to who? Don't you dare say to you. Maybe you should ask your brother Thomas. What do you mean by that, sir? The only cavalry man who got out of fucking horse. I was strip searched. Two soldiers watched. That caught his attention. The arrest was all the neighbors would see and word would go around. Younger is all right. So he knew she was gonna. Oh God, Tommy. Tommy, this can only happen if you're still alive. Planning on staying alive. Now, if I'm dead, you can all go back to being what you were. I swear, sometimes, sometimes I want to fight him. If you'd like some music. No, we won't. Actually, Jesse likes some music. Don't go to any trouble. No, Curly, go to some trouble. I can't believe he's really doing this. You choose. To the revolution. Why not? That's why it's gonna be on your grave. Your concern is that if the unthinkable happened, you would find yourself on the wrong side of the barricades. Well, as you can see, and it's weird that he thinks about it that way. It's kind of smart, but also like. Oh, well, well. I've researched you. We have researched you. We already know, because you were saying shit the other episode. Yes. There are some popular records. Mostly romantic. Thank you, Kelly. 
Why do you have to mention it was romantic? Hang on. So I'd have gone. She gave me sixpence. <laughs> she sends me to the shop. Margarine, eggs and bread. And I came back. They look like they're enjoying their time way more now. When I showed you that photo of Greta de Rossi, your face changed. Because you knew her. You already know. <clears throat> they were married, but she was killed. Why do we have to bring that up? I should just sit, I'm drunk. It seems like so much time has passed and now you're gonna dance. And there it goes. His plan is going according to plan. It's uh, clean, Mr. Shelby. Right. Lock it all down. Alright boys, look her down. Oh shit, so the fight's about to happen. So is Alfie actually gonna show up with Chang Greta's two dudes? The only dance, the only show in town, in order of your special constable brothers, the picky fucking fighters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, why do I feel like something's gonna happen, but also not gonna happen? What is happening? No, don't you fucking do- No, Alfie just showed up. So that was a point, cause you know, he just shows up and they have to leave it on a fucking cliffhanger like every damn episode. I'm really hoping that Alfie is just showing up to support his friend and not to actually like try and kill him because we were doing so good. Y'all are buddies, y'all are good buddies. And if you're telling me he's there to kill him, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. Because I love Alfie, but not when he's like, well, you know what? I do like him whenever he's still not on our team because I just like his character. Like, even if he's a villain, like he's hilarious. And his other people's reaction to him, like just like Changretta, I wanted to die. That was so fucking funny. But I really hope nothing like bad happens. Because, hmm, I don't want him and Tommy's friendship to be, like, over with. Or, you know what, maybe he's going to somehow tell Tommy about something. Maybe, maybe the other two dudes just aren't there because literally we only saw him. Unless, like, literally next episode it starts out with the other two coming right up behind him. Like, you never know. But I literally... Mm, I'm not ready to see that, like, their friendship ends. I don't want it to end. They have a good friendship, and I don't want that ruined. And, you know, Arthur's confusing me because he seems to have, like, some good episodes, some bad episodes. Like, he seems to be doing, like, really well in one episode, and then in the next, something's wrong. And... It's confusing me. Like, is he good or not? Like, obviously not, but it's like, it's like confusing. And you know what? You know what's also confusing? Polly and that other dude. We have never seen really any chemistry between them. And then this episode, they're kissing? Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm happy for her. She seemed like happy this episode. And 
I just, I don't want any more bad shit for Polly. And I'm hoping that this is going to be a good thing. Because, yeah, she pulled a knife on dude and threatened him for Michael, you know. But I really hope that it doesn't end up being something that she has to go through with. So, like, that's not another thing on her conscience. And, like, she just needs help to keep going. And I was still surprised when we found out that, like, Tommy basically knew their plan. Like, her teaming up with Tangretta was her and Tommy's plan. And it's still, like, it's hard for me to actually think that that's the truth. But I'm gonna have to. Because I, I honestly thought that she was just, like, saying that to save her ass. But maybe not. But oh fucking well. We know that she wasn't actually, like, on the other side. She's still on our team. And that's how it should be. And you know what? Where did they send Michael? I know they said something about, like, was it witches or something? They were going to help him heal. Because he wanted to go somewhere else, but they weren't going to let him. And I'm just like, where is he going? Because I know Polly said something about him mentioning, like, a relative, like a distant relative of theirs, and, like, their royalty there. And I kind of, like past the fact of like where he was going because he's gone now and maybe he's not going to be in the last episode maybe he is like honestly he's bound to be because it's going to be the season finale next episode is the end of season four <laughs> and he has to come back something major is going to happen and i swear to god if it's another death i keep saying i'm gonna leave and i don't but you know, it's pissing me off because that is like a reoccurring theme in this show. So I hope that is not the case. And you know who I don't want to see dead? Right now? Alfie. If that man dies, I'm not going to quit, obviously. But I'm going to be hella fucking mad. But I don't know. I'm ready to see what's going to happen in this last episode of the season because, I mean, at this point, it's bound to go either way. And I just really hope Alfie is still on our team. But we'll see, I guess. So come back for episode six.